In this video, I talk about wrist ossicles and the different compartments in the wrist. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button at the end of the video if you like it or do it now. So basically you can have accessory ossicles in the wrist and they are less known than the accessory ossicles in the foot for example. So the first one I would like to show you is here located in this region and it's called the os centrale carpi. It can make a clicking noise in the wrist and sometimes needs to be removed. Ossicles above the tip of the ulna steroid can either be an accessory ossicle named the lunula or also a pseudotrosis after a ulna tip fracture. If the ossicle is located more medially within the TFC then it's called os triangulare. Now on the dorsal aspect of the wrist you can either have a carpal boss or an os styloidium and the difference is the base here showing with the mouse if it's fused with the metacarpal base then you would call it a carpal boss and if it's a separate ossicle then it's an os styloidium if it's above the lunate and then you can call it an os epilunatum or epilunate ossicle and now let's move on to the different compartments at, in the wrist. So you can have a variety of compartments here and they can or cannot communicate with each other and it's also depending on age. The first one here is the distal radio ulnar joint. The abbreviation here is uh, unfortunately in German. But um, you have this joint here, then we have the radiocarpal compartment, then next is the mid-carpal compartment, the piezotriquetral compartment, and then the common carpal metacarpal compartment here, and then as a separate compartment is the first carpal metacarpal compartment. Now, let's have a look at the different communications that are possible. Communications between the radiocarpal compartment and the piezotriquetral compartment are normal in every age. So even in young persons, if you do a injection there, it's a normal communication. The same is true for the common carpal metacarpal compartment and the mid carpal compartment. The communication here is normal in every age. Now consider that the CMC1, so you should have, shouldn't have contrast here in the CMC1. If it's going in here during an arthrography, then it's clearly abnormal. So it's a separate compartment, the CMC1. A communication between the distal radio ulnar joint and the radiocarpal compartment can be considered a normal finding in elderly people. Um, the age is certainly older than I am, but I would say above 40 you can, can find this as a normal degenerative process uh, through small perforations in the TFC. If it's in a young adult, then clearly it's probably a traumatic injury, but not in elderly people. Frequently they are also on both sides, so it's another hint that it's just a normal degenerative process. Also considered to be normal is a communication between the radiocarpal joint and the midcarpal compartment, especially during arthrography. If you inject midcarpal uh, compartment, then you can have a contrast communication through small defects, either through the SL or LT space, and especially the the thin portion, the mid portion, the membranous portion of these two ligaments can have uh, holes and communicate, uh, facilitate communication between these two compartments. So this was just a quick video because I was traveling a lot last week and make sure uh, to check back next week or the next few days because I have some very good ideas that I would like to do and thanks for watching.